Hey guys, Ollie here from Local Knowledge, and today we're going to talk about this little guy. What this is, is a crimp designed for crimping monofilament in lieu of tying a knot in big bulky line. Making a good crimp connection is really easy, but it has to be done right or disaster will strike. So what I just like to do first off is the most critical part of this whole operation is getting the right size crimp. These are wholesale packages, so they don't really list what size mono they are, but I know if I'm doing 200 pound mono, you can look at a chart and your tackle store will have these. Uh, it's on the back of a lot of crimp packages, but it basically just tells you, you're using this weight of monofilament, use this size of crimp. That's a good rule of thumb. Every line brand is gonna be a little bit different in diameter. The Seaguar fluorocarbon is a little bit thinner than 200 pound mono. So I'm gonna go down a crimp size just so it fits the line better. In this instance, I'm gonna show you how to just crimp a hook, big old heavy mustad 7691 onto a piece of 200 pound. We do this every day, day in and day out. We're rigging stuff for the big bluefin here. We're sword fishing, whatever. Just slide the crimp onto your leader material. Put a piece of chafe guard on. And what this is, is just Teflon tubing that you can buy at the tackle stores. And what it does, it just gives you an extra layer of protection where the whatever you're crimping on is gonna contact the hook. And then also, you know, a little bit less likely for a fish to bite you off in there. You're gonna take this end of the main line and you're gonna pass it back through the crimp. You're gonna want a nice snug fit, but obviously you don't want it loose. This fits just perfect. A little bit of extra insurance, just take a lighter like this and melt the tip of your leader material. And you'll see it starting to mushroom out on its own, right? Once I got a good mushroom, I just spit on the bottom of my lighter and that'll cool that off. Pull this thing down, cinch everybody down, maintaining control of the hook the whole time. Now everything's in place. Using these aluminum crimps, aluminum is a soft metal and it bends a lot or it gives a lot and stretches and all that good stuff. So is leader material. So for that reason, I always start the crimp in the center of the crimp. And what you're doing is you're actually pushing the thickness of the extra material out the sides of the crimp then rotate it when you're using hand crimpers for your next crimp. I've got one done in the center. Now here is a key thing to note. If you see how much crimp I have sticking out, about an eighth inch, give or take, never crimp the end of the crimp. The idea here is, is you want that crimp, you're gonna do it about an eighth inch away and it'll flare out at the end. And when it flares out, it allows more room for the mono to move around without chafing on it. So it basically gets rid of any hard edge you've got the other benefit of aluminum is it's a soft metal, it's not gonna rust, it's not gonna get sharp edges, and you're less likely to break your line off on your own crimp. There's two, and then I'm gonna rotate it once again. I'm gonna come back, leave about an eighth of an inch of material, make my third crimp. Ta-da. Now you see there's a little bit of angle right here coming out with the mushroom of the line. That's cool, it's not gonna hurt a thing. You can see in here there's plenty of room. Everything's flared out away from the main line. There's really no way for this to come around and chafe. Chafe tubes butted up against the connector. You got a nice clean connection. And that's it, man. Don't make it harder than it is. Key things to remember. Get the right size crimp for the right size line. Very, very important. Make sure that you crimp center out and just take your time, be patient with it. You'll get a nice clean connection that you can count on every time. Sounds easy again, but it's just one of those detail things. This makes the difference between the guys that catch fish and the guys who come home with a fish story. Don't do this in a hurry. Take your time, prepare right, catch more fish. Hope you've liked this video. If you like this video and you want to see others like it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we appreciate your time.